how to predict a protein structure from its sequence using alpha fold. And we'll do this in Chimera X. So I could paste a sequence in and we could run this computation, but instead I'm going to start with an experimental structure. And I'm going to first check whether uh, there's an existing alpha, already computed alpha fold model in the alpha fold database. So let's start with a structure. It's a, a structure of avidin, and the PDB ID code is 7P4Z. So I'll say open 7P4Z. Here it is. It's in chicken egg yolk. And I chose it because it's not in the alpha fold database. But let's let's take a look at that. So I'll go to tools, structure prediction, alpha fold. This is a new tool in Chimera X. You'll need a daily build or a version of Chimera X newer than September 2021. Uh, and it brought up this panel, this alpha fold panel. And I can search uh, for the sequence of this avidin. Uh, there are two chains here, A and B. Let's try to just fetch from the alpha full database a model. So I press the fetch button and um, it's just going and doing a search. Uh, and it replies in the log here that it didn't find any match. Okay, the, um, the sequence of Avid in here, it has this uniprot identifier, was not found in the alpha full database. And then it did a sequence similarity search and that didn't find anything. Um, we can do a more sensitive search. That sequence search in the alpha full database used BLAT, which is fast, but it's not very sensitive. If we press this search button, let me do that, this will run a BLAST search uh, of the sequence in the alpha full database. And we see the results here. And if we scroll down, it did find one result in the alpha full database. Uh, and so I, I can click on it. it it's, uh, it's from Zebrafish, uh, Daniel Rurio. I can see from the end of the Uniprot name here. If I click on it, it loads this structure from the alpha fold database. Okay. If we look at the, take a look at the log, let me, um, let me get a little better, better view of the log. Um, it, it made a little table when I fetched this in the log. And it says the root mean squared deviation is about two angstroms. Uh, that's C alpha um, between the experimental and the predicted structure, so not too bad. But the sequence identity is 40%. So I might want to uh, work with a, a, predict a structure that's 100% identical. And so now we're going to try to run AlphaFold to predict such a structure. All right, so to do that, I press this predict button. And it will bring up a panel. This is going to run it on Google's servers, a service called Google Colab. These are cloud uh, servers that allow you to run Python code. And um, we're going to ask it to run AlphaFold. The unique thing about their servers is they have GPUs, graphic processors, and AlphaFold needs that to do this computation. OK, so the first thing, since we're using Google servers, it's asking me to sign in to, to Google. Um, so let me click sign in. You want to leave this page? Yes. Let me sign in as uh, me. So I just signed in with my normal Google account. And now it's going to try to run uh, AlphaFold using some code that Chimera X sent it that's in Python. And it's just warning me that, hey, you're running this po code that's not from Google. It came from Chimera X. So we'll say run anyway. All right, so this uh, window is a just a web browser window showing Google Colab, this uh, service, this cloud service, compute service. Uh, Chimera X has pasted in the sequence. We can see here at the, this, it, and we're going to see a log here as it's doing the computation. It says the sequence is 121 amino acids long. That's a very short protein sequence, um, but it's going to take about an hour to do this computation. Okay, I've successfully done sequences that are 500 or 700 amino acids, but larger than that, I've run into trouble where uh, Google, uh, Google Virtual Server says it's out of memory or there's a CUDA GPU error. So, so far, uh, the limit I've, I've got is about 700 amino acids, and that took two to three hours. 
Okay, so we're not going to wait uh, the hour for this to complete. I, I ran this uh, a few hours ago, and I'm just going to show you the results. So I'm going to let me hide this Chimera X, and I'll bring up my other Chimera X where the job has already completed. Okay, so this is the same uh, the same Google Colab window, but it ran earlier. I can see at the very bottom it says it took 45 minutes to run. And the log uh, says a number of things. First, on this Google Virtual Machine, it said to install uh, Hummer, which is a sequence alignment tool, install AlphaFold, which is makes the structure prediction, install OpenMM, that does energy minimization on the final structure. So it installs some things on the cloud server. Then it's going to do a sequence search uh, of about 150 meg uh, gigabytes of sequence data, a lot of sequences. So it did those searches that took about a half hour. And then it creates a multiple sequence alignment. It found 1,379 sequences. AlphaFold likes to have hundreds of sequences to thousands of sequences in the alignment to produce a good structure. It, AlphaFold then produced five models from using this neural network uh, and then energy minimized the best one and that one was automatically loaded into uh, into Chimera X and it's shown in blue here. Okay, the structure we were looking at a second ago in our other um, Chimera X was 40% uh, identical zebrafish avidin, but this is the exact sequence of the chicken uh, avidin. Okay, uh, one more detail I'd like to tell you. Uh, this Google Colab is a uh, service of Google is free. All you have to do is have a Google account, but um, it's limited. And one of the, the limitations vary about how much you can use it, but roughly uh, you can only use it two hours per day. And since these compute jobs take an hour on, with AlphaFold or two, or can take two or three hours for a longer sequence, you may run out of time and it then kicks you off and your job, your computation doesn't complete. Um, so I'm actually running with Colab Pro, which is a paid service. I pay Google $10 a month, pretty modest amount. And it just gives me, uh, I think, up to 12 hours of running on their servers per day and gives me higher priority access, more memory on the machine, and um, better GPUs, faster GPUs. So if you end up using AlphaFold a lot through this uh, this tool, this Google be a Google Colab, you might want to uh, think about paying for Colab Pro.